kind of a big deal. I'm pretty much gonna call this my most paranoid fucking video that I've ever done when it comes to jewelry. You've seen my reviews on my 13 millimeter from Daniel Jewelry Inc. with my fucking face on it. Cool. You see my nine millimeter review with the diamond button on it and my diamond initials on it. Cute. You see my crazy custom. Mmm. Touches my heart pendant with enamel and beautiful custom work with my motherfucking name on it. Amazing. But the type of shit that I got today, I had to hire motherfucking security outside, armed and shit. They got big man tits and the whole shit just to do this video. I know half of y'all motherfuckers is waiting for your income tax check, and this is the perfect way to blow it. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto this shit, because I don't even know how I'm going to explain this to my wife. Present morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3 U3 B3 A. This is the most anxiety-driven fucking video that I've done in collaboration with Daniel Jewelry Inc. I don't know ever. The three fucking precious gems that I'm gonna show you today are not chains or bracelets that you're used to seeing from me. I'm also a novice watch enthusiast. I love watches. I love the aesthetic of it. Most people just wear watches and don't even look at it for the fucking time anymore because we got our iPhones, Androids, whatever the fuck you watch your time on. I like the history of watches and I love the visual elegance and the statement pieces that watches have become. But nowadays with the Migos and all the rappers and 2 chains and all the shit, everybody's into the bust down. Me, I never really looked into the bust down because the way that my wallet works, <laughs> wife's wallet, is that's not in my fucking future. It's like walking into a Lamborghini dealership and test driving some shit that you definitely can't afford. In this particular case, these are slightly above my tax bracket. But listen, if you got 14 dependents with social security numbers that you bought off the dark web, who am I to judge? Let me start off by giving you an overall round picture. How about if I told you I got three 41 millimeter date just Rolexes? That's fucking impressive. How about I told you that it's a combined carat weight within these watches of over 60 carats of diamonds? That's fucking absurd. How about if I told you these diamonds, the way they're placed in these watches are honeycomb or flower set? If you know what that means, it's a bunch of fucking diamonds that are gangbanging each other consistently. That's fucking ridiculous. Now let's start with the most basic of the three. A mere 19 carats with a gorgeous, beautiful blue hue dial. Oh yeah, with Roman numerals with diamonds in them, as well as the entire fucking bracelet honeycombed in high quality diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to who I've amply named Blueface. Let me introduce you guys to Blueface, this beautiful two-tone stainless steel and yellow gold marvel with a gorgeous Roman numeral dial completely, and I mean completely flooded with motherfucking piedras, that rock, that ice, that shit you put in your whiskey to chill it. Ridiculous! Look at the bracelet, are you fucking kidding me or what? Look at this shit, fam. This is ridiculous. Who needs this in their life? Who? Who? These are all flower set diamonds. What that means is all the diamonds are so close to each other that you can't fit another one. This is like a bunch of inbred hillbillies. They're super close. Now these are aftermarket diamonds, but the way that they're set, there is no bumps or curves or just edges catching. The flower set in this is absolutely immaculate all the way down to the side, through the side of the fucking brace. Why, that's just too much. Or is it? Next one. How about you tell me you're cool, but that's a little bit too much. I'm not a blue face type but dude, I get it. But you like the two-tone, right? How about we go stainless steel and I don't know, rose gold? We got that same flower setting throughout the motherfucker. This is slightly over 21 carats and let's add a little spice. Let's add a little Middle Eastern flair. How about we add those Arabic numerals and completely flood out the face? This one I would like to call the Prince of Dubai. Uh, regal, motherfucking royalty, uh, complete sex appeal, uh, bust the fuck down absolutely 
Reed Calculus. I'm not even the biggest rose gold fan, but in this white and rose gold combination, it screams fucking elegance. Now, I'm gonna try to put this shit on my wrist. I am nervous as fuck even touching these watches. Ah! I broke it. I'm gonna have to pay for it. I can't afford this. All right, I'm gonna put this shit on. These don't fit my wrist. I have bitch wrists. My wrists are like seven inches. These are like eight, eight and a halves, but just so you can see what it looks like on wrist. Oh my God. Oh my God, why? Why can't I afford this? This is ridiculous. This shit is gorgeous, bro. This is a statement piece. This is a flex to flex with funk flex. This is, woo! The Arabic numerals here, I don't know what they technically say, but I kind of can imagine because I'm not a complete fucking idiot. Just gives it this beautiful spicy sexiness. The rose gold really pops out with the diamonds and obviously stainless steel or white gold with diamonds just make it extra fucking wow. If you're looking for something like this, obviously they sell it, obviously they can make it for you. And honestly, for the type of craftsmanship and quality that they have in these fucking pieces, the prices are not astronomical. I'm not gonna break down the full pricing guide. I'll put a little description in the link below so you guys can tell your accountant, yo, can we put another three dependents on here? Yo, hey, guess what? I donated $68,000 to charity. Just saying. Next one. Now you tell me, Kuva, I like a little bit of flair. Those I've seen that type before, it's not too special for me. Okay, fancy. How about we add a completely flower set bust down with motherfucking baguettes this one i call ooey yeah ooey is right fucking look at the baguettes on this are you stupid look at this shit gorgeous amazing fantastical i have a full-blown boner as we speak again I style to the fucking nitty gritty. I don't even know how you cram so much diamonds in here. It looks like there's four baguettes in each of the center links, along with about six fucking rounds on top of each side. Not to mention like 58,000 diamonds all over this fucking thing. This one is just shy over 21 carats. It's just... Why can't I afford this? So since I look like a complete fucktard with these shits on my wrist that they don't fit, I just want to give you a perspective of how amazing these pieces look. Absolutely incredible. Again, we got Roman numerals with diamonds on them. Roman numerals with no diamonds. We got stainless and yellow gold, and we got stainless and rosé. Phenomenal pieces brought to you by Daniel Jewelry Inc. I am fucking honored and privileged to see how the other side lives, because this is not something that I can foresee in my near future. I am not a popping ass YouTuber yet, but if you want to send me one of these as a, I don't know, early birthday gift, I am more than happy to keep one or all. If you guys are interested in getting pieces like this, either made or purchased already completely bust down i would suggest hitting up daniel jewelry inc and telling them your boy kuba sent you because these are a decent price point for the type of quality watch that you're fucking getting this is next level stunt and you better have the full package of stuntery if you're gonna purchase something like this because this is absolutely fucking ridiculous i wonder if amex would increase the limit on my wife's card without her authorization I love y'all motherfuckers from the hearts and I'm gonna go play with these shits a little bit more. Go to Daniel Jewelry Inc. if you're interested in any of these fucking pieces because right now I'm gonna go masturbate with one of these as a cock ring. Smooches. Put the fly gun, hold a money folder, hold a roller, start tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>